Are you ready to start a new business in Virginia but don't know where to start? Don't worry, it's easy. I will give you a step-by-step -step guide to registering an LLC in Virginia, which will include preparing the right forms, correctly naming your LLC, registering your LLC, and other crucial details involved in the whole process. Make sure you stick with me until the end, and I will give you access to my free business startup success checklist. Part of this complete guide will reveal my trustworthy registered agent who will help set up your LLC for free and save you time and money. Step 1. Name your LLC. Your LLC name has to be unique, not just for legal reasons. Your business name will reflect your brand. It either has to be catchy or easy to remember. Just Google Business Entity Records Virginia Secretary of State or click on the link in the description box. This page contains all the businesses registered in the state of Virginia. Type in the business name you want to use. If there are no matches found, that means that you're free to use it. If it shows a list of duplicates, you have to use a better name variation or think of another one that no one else is using. Next, and this is important. Go to www.namechecker.com. This tool will help you check if your business name has a domain name available and other social media pages and platforms. You don't want to register an LLC name that someone is already using online. That will limit your marketing and online sales opportunities. You'd think that naming a company would be easy, but you really have to put more thought into it. Important tip. Come up with an LLC name that will present well online and be relevant enough to use as online tags and domain names. This is important so online users can find you when they search for online products and services they need. Online users have many choices and they get bored quickly, so make sure that your LLC name can get their attention. No matter how good your products are, you will have a hard time selling if people don't click on your page. Imagine this. If online users are to choose between these two coffee shops, the coffee shop or the groovy brew shop, people are more likely to click on the groovy brew shop and buy from them. Your business name really matters. Before I go off topic, Virginia laws also require adding LC or limited liability company to your registered business name. You can't use terms like corporation, corp, inc, or anything else that could mislead people about your business type. Any word or phrase that can confuse your LLC with a government agency is also strictly prohibited. Using words like bank or attorney in your business name would require more paperwork. Adding these words would also require you to add a licensed professional as part of your LLC. Now once you're sure that your LLC name is available, you can go ahead and secure your business name. The Secretary of State can also reserve the LLC's trade name before filing for a period of 120 days. You can make the name reservation for only $10, which is non-refundable. Once your business name is reserved, no other entity can use it during the 120 days. Download it using the link in the description box. You can thank me by liking and subscribing to this channel. Step 2. Choose a registered agent. The state of Virginia bars all LLCs to choose a registered agent who will be the point of contact to receive important business documents like tax warnings, subpoenas, and other official papers. While it is okay to appoint yourself or trusted friends and family members, I recommend a professional registered agent that has the knowledge and experience needed to manage potential issues and protect your business at all costs. This will get some responsibilities off your hands and allow you to focus on running a successful business. The registered agent must also be available during business hours and must have a physical address to receive official mail. A PO box will not suffice. A registered agent's address is shown on public records so you don't want to use your home address. I recommend you use a professional service like AnytimeMailbox.com for this purpose. Their services include physical addresses you can use, scanning your mail, and forwarding them to your home or business address for a small fee. Why bother with the small details when you can have a professional service like Anytime Mailbox to do the work for you? I have a special link in the description box below. Hiring a registered agent is not expensive if you are worried about the cost. You can get a registered agent for free if you pay for a service to register your LLC. I highly recommend Zen Business. Their service can help you register your LLC and provide a registered agent as part of their package at no extra cost. They also provide a dashboard where you can keep a close track of all the documents and correspondence that the agent receives. Believe me, all the easy to use tools will save you plenty of time and hassle. Feel free to check out my special link on Zen Business if you're interested in signing up for their service. Step 3. Filing the Virginia LLC Certificate of Formation The next step is to download the Certificate of Formation with the Virginia Secretary of State online. Fill it out and mail it to their office to officially incorporate a domestic Virginia limited liability company. The Virginia State filing cost for an LLC online in person or by mail is $100. 
Typically, your certificate of formation includes cover with name, address, and telephone number, your company name and address, your registered agent's details, names of the LLC management and members at the time of the registration, and addresses of managers and members of the LLC. Mail filings usually take around two weeks to get approved, which is why I suggest you file online because it only takes two to three business days for approval. The state of Virginia does offer next day processing for both online and mail filings on the condition that the Secretary of State receives your forms on or before 1 p.m. at Easter Standard Time for an additional fee of $100. They also offer the same day expedited processing provided you submit your forms and other requirements by 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for an additional of $200. Step 4. Prepare an Operating Agreement Virginia doesn't require LLCs to have an operating agreement, but it's a good business practice to have one. Having a document that will guide all company members, especially co-owners, directors, managers, and even new hires is always better. An operating agreement outlines every critical process that needs to be followed, especially regarding big picture issues. These issues may include but are not limited to allocation of earnings and losses in case the company is dissolved, decision-making process and voting rights, transfer of membership interests, profits and losses, and any other concerns that impacts the business overall. This is why using Zen Business to set up your LLC is great. They will help you with these three previous steps for free. And if you decide to use Zen Business to set up your LLC, they can also help you with the operating agreement document for only $125. This will save you a lot of time and will ensure that you have all your correct documents ready for the registration process. Writing an operating agreement is not easy. I believe it's better to let the experts do it for you. Step 5. Obtain an EIN Next, we need to get an EIN for your LLC. An EIN or Employer Identification Number is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS to your company. Your EIN is used by the IRS to readily identify your firm on tax filings. All firms pay a business privilege tax and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits and licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to the previous steps. I'm sure you know anything to do with the IRS is confusing and tedious. You need to have complete knowledge of your LLC all the way down to small critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why working with Zen Business is beneficial for you and your business. For an additional fee of only $99, they will take care of this step for you so you can focus on important matters like planning and running the actual business. You can click on this link in the description below to get access to Zen Business One of Kind offer, a free starter package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. You only have to pay the state filing fees of $100, which you would have to do anyway if you choose a DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge for their service fee on top of the state filing fees. But Zen Business did not collect this fee. I do recommend Zen Business 199 Pro package to everyone if you have the money as it will save you a lot of time and hassle. The Pro package includes faster filing, operating agreement, and a worry-free compliance where they will help submit your annual reports. For an even faster 1-2 to two day processing time with all the bells and whistles, you can go up to the 299 premium plan, which also provides you with a domain name, a website, and a business email. This would be perfect for a business that want to have that online presence. There are still a few more steps to complete your business setup. However, it may drag this video out too long, so I have condensed everything into an actionable step-by-step -step business startup success checklist that you can grab from here for free. Now, if you have decided to start with Zen Business, I recommend you watch this next video. However, if you're happy to do it all yourself, then this video is the next one you need to watch. And I'll see you in the next video.